Well, this is a wonderful opportunity to be able to step into this role in the Chancellor's Office as, as Vice Chancellor for Research. It's wonderful because of the place that biomedical research has brought us to the opportunity to be able to bring together knowledge that is gained across the full spectrum from fundamental research to direct application to patients and citizens and integration with respect to the different topical foci of the schools here at UCSF. It is the opportunity to bring together and integrate research in medicine and dentistry and pharmacy and nursing in ways that will bring each of them to places that, that none of them could be able to achieve individually. So we've learned enough that those opportunities have, have uh, really lit up for us and this is the time to try to take advantage of it. So it's a great uh, honor to be able to have the opportunity to try to be a part of that process. I've been at UCSF since 1973. I uh, came as a postdoctoral fellow, a molecular biologist, a basic scientist, and had the pleasure and honor to watch um, an amazing evolution of the culture here, where the institution has, of course, risen to the top ranks of research that really make it one of the few institutions uh, in the world that has the kind of primacy and presence in all of these disciplines that are represented in each of the schools, from research to care of patients and outreach into the community. Um, and so it's been uh, remarkable. And of course, during that time, UCSF researchers have been involved in generating many of the technologies, uh, discovering much of the knowledge that has driven uh, the field around the world. One of the things that I work hard on at the federal level is at looking for ways to be able to coordinate these um, organizational and funding efforts so that we can better use the actually shrinking number of dollars that we have available for this research at a time when the opportunities for really building it out are great. Here at UCSF, it's sort of the same thing. Uh, the challenge is in a field that is wonderfully dynamic, where the discoveries will take us in new directions all the time, how do we do that? How do we maintain and encourage, facilitate the dynamics within an organizational structure that tends to build silo walls around things, whether it's departments or schools? So one of the, I think, great opportunities that I see in this position of Vice Chancellor for Research is to look for ways across all of these various organizational entities to encourage the dynamics that will really move the field forward. We're just finishing the third phase of what I see as the build out of the full community here, beginning with bringing basic scientists here and then doing the new thing of saying, let's bring in physical sciences and computation and engineering and chemistry, uh, doing something new and innovative, not just more square feet for UCSF, but UCSF doing something different. New research entities and communities in cancer, in cardiovascular, uh, very soon in neuroscience and neurology. And then the fourth phase going on across the street here of building the hospitals. UCSF has been able to um, build this environment within the city of San Francisco that I think will continue to be a driver of both innovation and uh, economic power for a long time to come. And there'll be things that will come from building this hub that I think we just can't even imagine yet. <music>